There are no days off for the Safe Station program in Manchester, which has seen well over 3,700 visits this year from those looking for immediate help with addiction. We had uh, 16 people come in over the weekend. And many times, those people deposit used needles. When they walk in, they, uh, they you know, empty their pockets of pretty much everything. When they're, when they're here, they're, they're pretty beat looking for help. The health department says more help is needed in containing the ripple effects of drug use in Manchester. We have seen a couple additional HIV cases recently. We know that hepatitis C cases are on the rise. So once again, we want to help limit the spread of infectious disease. So it's pushing forward with a syringe take back program for the state's biggest city and the fourth like it in the Granite State. From a public health standpoint, we're looking at a syringe service program to help reduce the transmission of HIV and hepatitis C. The health department is looking to partner with Hand Up, which operates on the seacoast. It runs a backpack model where clients call a number and volunteers go to the location for the exchange. We also provide additional information, which I think is a key point. We try and get people linked up with health care for the homeless, try and get people linked up with uh, substance use disorder services. So it's not only about that, it helps create a relationship where hopefully we're able to get people into care. It's not clear what the startup cost would be for the program, but it will be self-funded by the health department. Officials say they'll hire one part-time person who will be in charge of organizing it, and they hope to start by the end of the summer. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.